This right here is a DT12 aromatic transmission. This is of a 2019 Frenel Cascadia. This transmission is being on the market from 2014 all the way to 2023. So um, this is the most common transmission used on Frenel Cascadias. Frenel products in general, Western styles as well, they all use DT12 transmission if they have aromatic transmission. In this video, I'm going to show you how to service an aromatic transmission. Before I start this video, I'm going to tell you that if you have no experience working on DT12 transmission, you better don't touch this transmission because it is a very complex piece of work. And if you do something wrong, probably it's going to cost you a lot of money since these transmissions are very expensive. So now let's do Let's go to the video. What we're gonna do today is to replace the split pin. The split pin goes bad over the time. Even for Lerner, from factory dealers, they start a bulleting, a, re a warranty repair on these transmissions because they were failing so much, so they decided to do a recall on these transmissions back in the days. And replacing this as the as split pin is very important on this transmission because uh, it is something that goes bad and your transmission start missing shifting and stuff like that. But for that, we are going to use this transmission to demonstrate your house line. So to remove the split pin on this transmission, you have to drop the transmission. The transmission has to be off the truck to do this job. There is no way to do this job with the transmission in the truck. So that is something that you have to do before removing the split pin components. So drop the transmission freeze. It's a long process, then requires so much work and uh, remove all the components that are near the transmission and in the middle of the vehicle because these are going to be on the way to remove the transmission off completely out of the truck. So. We're going to remove all these components and everything, get access and everything, and then lift the vehicle high enough where we can be able to remove from the chassis, get it out of the chassis, because this transmission is very high. So you, you need, if you have a lift, you have a lift where you can lift the vehicle completely up, it will be perfect because you don't have to actually do all this. You can just lift the vehicle and then drop the transmission all the way down. Anyway. Once the transmission is completely out, what we're gonna do is remove completely the TCM module. The TCM module is basically the computer of these transmissions. So the computer is the black part that is on the front of the uh, TCM, I mean the whole module. The computer is that, the TCM actual. And then the actuators and everything is the mechanical part that is connected to this. So we are going to remove all the plugs that are connected to this module, all the electrical plugs, everything, and the hoses on the back of this module because they are very fragile. They can break easily with, uh, with the ground movement. So we are going to remove all these, break all the zip ties, and then once we get all done out of the way, we are going to remove all the big E10 bolts out of the way. And once we get that, we are going to play around with the module until we get it out. We have to move it here and there, up and down, until it completely disattaches the mechanism where it's connected to. So once we get that out of the way, we got access to the pin. The pin, this is the reason why the recall, Freiland is recall these transmissions. So this pin is the reason why we are doing all this job. But the new service pin is completely different. The new service pin comes in a kit, then comes with a bushing, comes with some washer and a little pin as well. Uh, this will prevent any future problems because the original pin didn't have a bushing. This one has a bushing, so to prevent any extra play, then this, uh, pin has over the time since this uh, this transmission has an aluminum housing so it's normal to have wear in it to get access we're gonna remove the shifter the shift lever in this case it is all these components right here so we're gonna remove all these components to actually get access to install the bushing so removing all that requires just to remove a little E7, if I am correctly, E7 bolt and holds this plug with the shifter completely. 
and a liter 345, a T45 bowl then holds the bottom part of the shifter and once you get that out of the way, it's pretty simple, you get it off and um, you can remove the whole shifter pretty easy, you can just move it up and down depending on the conditions, depending on the situation because this is going to move freely so you have to play around until you get it out. And once you get it out, simply you're just going to insert the bushing. The bushing goes in pretty easy, nothing, nothing special to do. And once you insert the bushing, pretty much the job is done because now we can put everything back together the way it was. So we put the bushing, we install the pin, the new pin. We are going to install the new gaskets because the kit comes with new gaskets as well. Install new gasket, insert the shifter mechanism inside the DT12 transmission. You have to play around until you get it right. It has a specific way how it goes. So it cannot be backwards, it cannot be wrong installed because if you do if you don't install it right, it doesn't go in. So that is something that you have to pay attention to. And once you, we get that in, pretty easy. We can just continue on tightening the bolts, use specifications for the torque specifications. Um, and then uh, once uh, we get the shifter back in place, we place the TCN module back. We just Remove, uh, place it back the way we remove it, pretty easy. It just sits one way, you cannot put it backwards. So there is no components that are going to, uh, uh, there, are not, there is no components that are going to break or something if you do it wrong, so there is nothing like that. So all you have to do is to be sure that this sits properly, and once it sits properly, it's gonna go all the way in, and then you're gonna tighten all the bolts. And reconnect all the wiring that was connected to the TCM, and we are done. And now we have to install the transmission back to the truck um, and uh, connect all, all the components we remove and you know, it's above it. So it's, it seems pretty simple. This, it, this is not a very simple repair. Uh, it, it looks pretty simple on this video, but it's not. It, it takes more than that. So removing this transmission requires a lot of effort. Removing that pin requires then you know about mechanical things. So if you don't know anything about doing this kind of work, please don't touch it because it's going to be more expensive later to repair this problem if you do something wrong. Uh, if you don't do it right, these transmissions are very expensive, you know, and, and if you don't do it right, that is going to be a, a lot of money you want to be spending on trying to get this right. Um, but uh, besides all that, this is all we need to do to replace the split pin. Um, of course, right, if you get the issue then the specific, there is a specific gear, a specific, let's say gear number seven is getting a uh, drop all the time, all the time, all the time. Probably the split pin is not going to help on that. If you get in the issue then the, the gears, like for example, you go in freeze and then goes to neutral, then second goes to neutral, third goes to neutral, probably the split pin is going to be the, the reason why that is happening to the transmission. So there is different issues that you're gonna get with the transmission. So those issues are going to depend what kind of repair you're gonna do. So just remember, this is going to be only if the transmission goes to neutral every single gear. But if it just goes to neutral on a specific gear, then it's going to be a probably, it's going to be a different repair. But with this, I finish this video Pretty simple video, pretty basic, nothing to add to it uh, besides all the work you have to do to remove this transmission. Um, and sadly, there is no way to do this job without removing the transmission. You have to drop the transmission. There is no room between the chassis and the transmission. That's the reason why you have to drop the transmission. And uh, 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 there is no better way. And if you have a lift, a lift to lift the truck, it's going to be the best way to do it. Other than that, you have to rem you have to find a way how to get the transmission completely off the truck because you know it, it, it's pretty limited room inside the truck, so inside between the chassis and the transmission, so so it's better to have it in an open room so that way you can do it preferably. But if you have any questions about this video, comment below. 
you can uh, have your questions there and if you have answers for these questions just comment below if you have experience working on these dt12 transmissions you can comment below too because it's very important to share your experience with other people they know or then want to learn about the transmission and uh, just remember to share this video with anybody that is having problems with dt12 transmissions subscribe to the channel it's very important to continue on doing videos like this for all of you that have automatic transmissions and if you wonder before i finish the video how much a job like this costs probably around two thousand dollars so follow me on instagram francisco my youtube and thank you for watching